Welcome to day 10 of the World Climbing Club. It's late at night here in the stadium because we have had a packed day of competition climbing. By the end of the show, we'll be able to reveal who our first winners of those Olympic tickets are. But first of all, let's bring you the winners of the para climbing comp here at the IFSC World Championships. From Spain, Ivan Escalar is on. So he chalks up, shakes out. Ivan is up onto the head wall. He's on the bottom now. This is where the angle changes from that 40 degree savagery into 15 degrees. That was really, really good. Stretching out a bit, but yeah, I think that's the high point. That will be the gold for him. So what a moment for Ivan. Oh, well done. We stick with Alois Potier here. Time is ticking down though. You'll have to be aware of that. Yeah, he's doing really, really well. And now he's moving into this ginormous volcano-like volume. Can he keep it together? Time might be a factor here. Reaches up the right, pops the right foot, comes down just below the top. But that is a brilliant performance from Alois Potier. Match it and get up there. Well, that is Dina. I said her name earlier on, but uh, there she is from Norway. Slapping left, hit the hold, cross through, fell on the cross through. But that has put her up into the number one spot. She's on 29 plus, the gold medal position for her. And now we see Marina moving through the bottom of this route. You Confident reckon? moving there. Brings the left hand through and already she's nearing the head wall. Bit faster. Now Marina jumping and... Just had that left hand on it. Look at Pavitra as well, campusing her way upwards. She was a bit disappointed. I saw her come down from the qualifying round, but she did enough here. Trying to cut back, sort out a bit. So Pavitra, she's one who can like rest <laughs> like forever. Some sections and trying and trying over and over again. Now crossing through with the left. I'm matching her hands for a second in that pocket. She swings down. Uh, here is Abigail Robinson, not waiting unnecessarily. Straight arms, looks back at the crowd. I think she wants a bit of something from them. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Can she reach it? Yes, she has the extra centimeters to reach the hold in a static way. Didn't need the Incredible. jump. Incredible. Oh, but holds the swing with the left arm. And we have seen a top, so and that's there brilliant. it is. Now, Shoaita has this style. He is quite slow in the way he climbs. Mm -hmm. Is Team Japan strong in all types of climbing? You can hear the Japanese coach there shouting a pause for a sec so you can listen to that. Yeah. And show eye to falls. So Fumiya is down low, he hits the 40 degree section. And we're hearing the Japanese announcer shouting up at his athlete. It's up and left. He tried to find it before. He's really struggling with this one. Now he has it. And he's nearing Richard's high point. That's the match. Oh, and slips on it. But 36 awarded at the moment. Sunita from India as she moves into the purple section of the route. Nice big hands, but it's the feet that are quite awkward. The angle of the wall pushing you back and that big black volume as well gets a heel in, that will help to rock up towards the left, hits it but oh. fingertips only. Cosmin, all eyes on him, he qualified best. Look how fast he's going here, so he's on 10 already, Our scoreboard barely keeping up with him as he flies up the wall. It's better, oh watch that bolt hole, he's standing on the bolt hole and making it work as well. Now for the first time he pauses with this huge stretch up, he's locking off that right arm, gets now the left. getting it. This is smooth as anything. Look at that oh, top. Oh, wow. Too easy. That's how Moa is climbing. And he's looking solid through this section. We've seen athletes really fighting already here, but it, shaking and chalking in a position that didn't look like you should be able to shake out and chalk up there, but he was chilling out. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Also, something for the root set is impossible to mimic. No finger climbing. Of course. And he falls. Here we have Thierry Delarue from France. Um, oh, uh, I would say really, really strong gold medal candidate here. It's always the same angle. Now nearing the top, this should be the high point. Thierry doing the move to the left. Really confident. Crossing through with his leg and 
Topping the root. Wow, topping the root and topping the root in style. He wants a reaction from the crowd. He gets it. He is very, very, very happy with that. And on the right here, we see Lucy Jarich from France. She's also uh, a real legend. Uh, I think she never won anything else than gold. She's got the high point. It's already first place, yeah. So it's already first place. She doesn't know. And she also doesn't care. She just wants to deliver a good performance. Lucy is always aiming for the top. I was and about she is to ask. a real fighter. Now let's see. She's aiming for the jump. Oh, and nails it. Wow, nails it. Gets a huge reaction from the crowd. Wow. Topping it. One hand, second hand comes in. Takano, meanwhile, confident moving up the wall here. One in a bit from the crowd. Hits that pinch like we've seen the other athletes do. And I think we see him into and the lead right now. There he is, positioning first. So there we have our gold medal winner from Japan. Wow, Solen, such a strong performance. By the way, Solen is our gold medal candidate by far, so maybe the others have a chance today. So uh, Solen moving quite confident here after this let's say, unhappy start into the route. The, it looks like the only way is going to be for her to jump. She does, she sticks it. Wow, wow. that was so impressive. Wow. What a show, Solen. And another top. And another top for the gold medalist. He just loves climbing, and you will see why in a few seconds. You Juana say dominating, you say confident, he's skipping holds out there. What a show, Angelino, This Come is the on. move, though. Oh. Oh, no, uh, no, that, he said, no. I will go different, right? This is the way to He's go. Just doing then. a few extra moves. Yeah, Why now not? looking into the crowd, asking for more support. Thank you, Angelino, for showing us. Come on. Thank you, Angelino, and thank you for this performance. All eyes in the stadium are on him right now. He's two moves away from the top. Come He's on, Angelino. Up. Have we seen the top before on this route? I don't believe we no. have. We've, uh, and the crowd, they want it. And we have... Oh, we oh. see him reach up. It's so close for him. Wow. We're getting closer to finding out who our Speed World Champions are and, of course, who wins those Olympic tickets. But first of all, speed is a very serious sport, but we found a few moments to have a little fun with those world record times. So I found Christian, uh, who, as you can see, has two children watching the speed climbing comp. So, Christian, what are your kids' names? It's Mona and this is Cleo. Mona, Cleo, hello, nice to meet you. Now, we know the men's speed record is just under five seconds, so we want to challenge the kids to see if they can go as fast as the speed climbers, but on some stairs, because we're not that mean. Uh, do you think they're up for a bit of a running race? We try it. I don't know, but we're going to try it. All right, let's do it. Let's find some stairs and uh, okay. let's see how fast they really are. Okay. Right, we found some stairs. We've got our athletes ready to go. So, five seconds on the clock. Let's do this. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, we're running up the stairs. My legs are absolutely exhausted. The kids are ahead. Mona's beating me. I can't believe this. Oh, congratulations. Victory for you. Uh, what an achievement. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Five seconds. Uh, I have no idea what our time was, to be honest, but uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> So I found two speed fans, uh, Alex and Ruby. Now, Alex and Ruby, we're going to see if you can tie a shoelace within the world record time-ish. Okay, so you got five seconds. I know it's a little bit different. You got six seconds. Again, I know. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to commentate this as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, standing up, please. We haven't had the buzzers. <laughs> All right. Take your marks. Set. 
Beep. Okay, so they're initially in. Ruby, it's a good start. Alex is really struggling here. He's having an absolute nightmare. Ruby smashing it. Alex, oh, a nightmare. I mean, look, pressure can do insane things to high-class athletes. I think we've just witnessed that just there. Alex, you haven't made finals. I'm so sorry. Have you got anything to say to the crowds? I didn't prep enough. Um, next time I'll come back and maybe give it my best go. All right, well, thank you so much. I know you tried your best. Uh, Ruby, what a <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. That, I've, that was a, how, how long have you been a professional uh, speed lace tyre person? Maybe about six years now. Okay, all right. Yeah. And Olympic qualification, obviously, we're all talking about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, the tickets available for the finals. Are you prepared for that mentally? I think so. Might have to have a few more goes, but I think I'll be all right. Okay, well, uh, that's the action from here down on the ground. Uh, we return to the Shoe Lace Stadium in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm annoying people once again. Stanley, I know you're very, very busy. Yeah. Um, okay, Stanley, we've got a challenge for you. Okay, now we know that the men's speed record is near to five seconds. You're a man, therefore you have a five second limit on this. I have a list of names. We're going to find out how quickly <laughs> you can find a random name from the list of names. Uh, so I would like you to find Erica Velev. Three, two, one, go. There's Stanley, he's got massive eyes there and he's scanning down. This is the technical master and he's done it! That was pretty dang quick. Well, you are clearly an expert judge. Uh, was that your biggest challenge yet of this entire event? Yes, after so many days, yes, this is the biggest challenge. <laughs> yeah, we've all slightly lost our mind, as you can tell from this piece of content. Uh, right, let's return to some climbing, shall we? Cheers, Stanley. Okay, thank you. One of the great things about the old combined format was the boulder and lead athletes having to practice and learn how to do speed climbing. Now, Tomoe Narasaki is an incredible boulderer and he invented the Tomoe skip, a bouldery 7A-ish move at the bottom which misses a hold. Let's hear more from him. Hi, I'm Tomoe Narasaki. I've invented Tomoe skips. So, climbing, 技に作っていうこと自体が少ないので、ま、それがこうしてスピードに名前が残るっていうのはすごく誇らしいです。え、正直これはもう遊びの中でこれ行けたら面白いなと思ってやったのが初めで、ま、その日のうちにできたので、
clean from both of them. Alexandra ahead at the moment, but don't count out Dazek Madre. She can come back. Alexandra might do this. So Alexandra slip. Dazek takes it at the top. I said don't count her out, and there we go. <sighs> I'm just going to breathe. I think that was a PB for her. What a time to do it. She's going to Paris 2024. She's going to become an Olympian. And Alexandra Miroslaw walks out onto the stage. She has a point to prove here a little. And ever the professional, looking serious, looking composed. There is still a World Championships medal on the line here. This race matters if you want to stand on the podium. Laser focused eyes there. Alexandra Kaluchka slips. Alexandra Miroslaw will walk away with it unless something happens, but it doesn't. She is our bronze medalist here this evening. And as you said, consummate professional, but you can see that just that disappointment in her face. All right, well, Emma Hunt versus Desek Madre, both with her eyes shut. This is for a gold medal at the World Champs. Ready? Both women away clean, Desek Madre ahead, Emma Hunt perhaps coming back. Desek slips a little bit, but she's keeping it together. Maybe Emma in the air, but no. Desek Madre is your world champion here this evening. Hats off to them for keeping it together and putting on the show for the audience and our gold and silver medalists. There they are. Well, the women's race done. This is first uh, my first gold medal in world championship and I'm very happy now because I have a ticket to go to Olympic Paris 2024. It feels like I can take a breath, like so much pressure and just can finally breathe. <laughs> and the shafts of light cutting across the darkness, lighting up the audience. Here we go. Rishat Kabulin walks in. He goes to the left. Jim Bao Long on the right. Here we go. Olympic tickets on the line. Ready? Clean from both. Jim Bao Long is ahead at the moment. Can Matteo Zuloni do anything about that at the top? No, he can't. Jim Bao Long with a clean race. And a PB. And a PB. An Olympic ticket, a PB. He's in the final of the World Championships. That guy's having a great night. He really is. OK, so the next race is Matteo Zuloni versus Ramat Maliono. Here we go. 5.02 for Matteo. Ramad, of course, 4.97 at PB earlier. Ready? No full starts. Matteo ahead at the midway point, but Ramad's coming up and he slips. Matteo takes it and he moves forward that Olympic ticket and another surprise. Another big surprise. He looked as surprised as anybody else. Head in his hands. He's just taken a moment to absorb what that means. Rishat doing that thing. He just seems to run on ahead of his opponent to uh, get to the lane, first of all. Maliona on the right, adjusts the speed pad. Ready? So off clean, but Maliona ahead, but now Rishat slips though. As I said, he was coming back. Maliona's gonna take that third place and Rishat with the fourth. Matteo on the right, Jin Bao Long on the left. China versus Italy. Ready? Oh, it's our first full start of the evening and it's in the men's final. So, uh, yeah, the only one to go and... <sighs> yeah, that red light going left. Team China say no, Matteo takes the victory. But we have a winner crowned. We do, and we have a silver medalist, and we have Olympians. Look what it means to them. Matteo, if I'm not mistaken, that is his first gold medal at a World Cup or World Championships. What a moment to do it. That guy is going home happy. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm really, really happy that I managed to do these times this, in this comp and uh, to qualify for the Olympics. Uh, I Join us tomorrow for the Women's Boulder and Lead Final where we give away some more of those Olympic tickets. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the action.